This morning, I had the honor and the privilege of being present in the room while Governor Tony Evers signed an executive order to push diversity and inclusion forward in the state of Wisconsin. The state of Wisconsin is known for being terrible in terms of racial equality. The statistics don't lie and it's disgusting. And I'm so excited that this executive order was passed to move things along in terms of diversity and inclusion, especially for the differently abled community. When I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and I had lost my vision and my ability to walk, the only person that I knew that had multiple sclerosis set the tone for me. That representation does matter. However, when I looked at what she'd gone through, the multiple sclerosis won the fight. She felt like such a burden to society, to her loved ones. Healthcare didn't help, and she didn't feel like she was a valuable asset to the workforce. And unfortunately, the disease devoured her. She wrapped herself up in a sheet, laid down in a bathtub, and put a bullet in her brain. The suicide rates for people with disabilities are huge, and there's so much work to be done. But the real power is in the fact that those with adversity have superpowers. People who have gone through adversity, whether that's mental or physical, whether that's being in the military and becoming a veteran and, and trying to find work there, or it's somebody dealing with unconscious bias or biases all, all around the world, it breathes so much power into your soul. And the fact that we still are, we're approaching 2020 and we still have these racial disparities, are, it's terrifying. Just because of the way that we look, we treat people differently? No, that's terrible. And we need to keep pushing the awareness and understanding forward so that we can understand how to build inclusive environments. So here I am trying to set the tone for everybody in the whole world that has some form of disability. You are not disabled. You are differently abled. There is a place for you in this beautiful world. And as your sister of the human race, I am here to give you a voice. So please reach out to me if we're not connected yet. And let's talk so that I can be your voice. Thank you guys so much. And I cannot wait to see where this executive order takes us.